I'm calling you because you were told to reach out to me because I was in prison and your husband's in prison, correct? Yes, a friend of mine had told me about you. Okay, and your situation is, like when I came home from prison, it took me almost three years to get a car, so I drove the bus, all right? Mm -hmm. I, I rode the bus. Right. And your issue is you need school supplies for your three children? Two children. Two children, and what ages? Yes. My son's seven and my daughter is eight. Okay, and where are they going to school? Do they have a list of supplies they need? They go to Northtown Elementary, which is off of Morris Road. Okay. But I haven't received their school supply list in the mail yet. They said it would be here sometime this week. Okay, so we're preparing, which is a good idea. We're not yes. waiting until school starts. Right. Right, and then, you know, they would... If anyone has, and so many people have clothes that they can donate to kids. Right. So your kids don't have to wear uniforms at school. They use it is it is required, but they don't have to. They didn't last year because I didn't have the funds to buy them uniforms. I loved in your message what really touched me was you said I would ask their dad to help, but he's in prison. Yeah. So. Okay, so you can't obviously ask him. When I was in prison, they garnished my, I made $17 a month, and they took out $5 each for each of my child, my children. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they gave that to Children's Services, so $10 a month, so that was docked mm -hmm. from my pay, which was fine. I was happy right. to do that, but it went, my right. kids were in foster care, so. Right. All right, so we need that, and what ages are they? My son is seven. Okay. He'll be eight in November, and my daughter will be nine next month. Okay. And thank you for explaining your deal is. Like I said, well, there's lots of school drives where they give out school supplies, I know, but you don't have a car. Right. So, you know, it's very hard for you to get to these school drives yeah, where they give out is. this stuff. Right. I'm actually in, in the process of hopefully getting a job. Um, my brother-in-law, because I'm still legally married to the kids' of dad, um, he works at Nationwide downtown here in Columbus cleaning, and he brought me an application home, and they just done my background check Friday. Yeah. So I'm hoping I hear something within the next couple days. Yay! Well, I'm going to yeah. have my whole Facebook family praying for you. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I'm glad that you reached out to me. And I'm Amy Wicks. And I'm where I was the incarcerated per parent. Mm -hmm. I was the incarcerated parent. But um, let's see what my Facebook family can come up with. Or You said you live on the north side. Yes. I work... Right off of Cleveland Avenue and 18th Avenue. Okay, cool. So if someone I, I know that I trusted said that they would bring you some stuff, that would be okay with you? Yes, that's fine. Or if somehow, I'm very busy because I'm organizing that benefit concert for the one in six children in America of the uh -huh. incarcerated parent. And mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't make funds. I don't have no grant writers or anything or staff. Right. So I would drive out to you if someone gave me the supplies, but I don't even have gas money to get there. Right, and that's understandable. I know what it's like. Thank you for be, having empathy for me, too. I, I really appreciate that. It's not a problem. It's hard sometimes. <laughs> I know it is, and, and that's okay. It's the circle of life, and we all pay it forward, and what we put out, we get back. So I'm yep. just going to pop up this video, and I know okay. someone will help us. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and I'm not going to tag right. you because I don't want you to feel weird or uncomfortable, but I just, now you know where to find me on Facebook, and I appreciate mm -hmm. your support. All right, well, thank you very much. Okay, I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to you, but. You oh, know. no, you're fine. It's not a problem at all. Okay, tell your kids Miss Amy is rooting for them, and I'm going to do my best. I will do. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll bye follow bye. up. You'll be hearing from me. Okay, Facebook family, I really hope you can help me get these kids school supplies. I, unfortunately, and sadly, and don't like to talk about it often, did lose my children to the system. So I don't know the list of school supplies that are needed for those two uh, aged children, but I'm sure that many of you do. It, it has to be, you know, the basic supplies. And I have supplied 
children in my neighborhood and around surrounding neighborhoods with just the basics that they need at least to get them started so they can get a great education and not end up you know where many of my friends in prison did because they didn't have a great ed education it's not an excuse just an explanation true story